Hey guys, this video is purely designed to make you feel relaxed. So take a deep breath and soak it in. The sounds, hopefully you learn something through watching this. It's not a lesson, but there are some things to be learned, hopefully. And uh, beyond that, uh, just the pure ASMR sound of a sharp knife driving through the fibers of cottonwood bark. It's very uh, satisfying if you ask me. But regardless, uh, this video is sponsored by Wood Carving Illustrated. If you're trying to improve your skills in wood carving, maybe you're new to this whole world, starting with Wood Carving Illustrated as a magazine is super helpful from you know, dust collection, setting up shop, sharpening, actual wood carving projects themselves with step-by-step -step articles. Tons of content there. And they're offering a code uh, Carver, C-A-R-V-E-R, -E and if you use that code, they'll give you a free handout of various uh, instructional pieces, and that's thrown in. Some stuff from me, some stuff from uh, some friends of mine, great content, uh, instructional faces and all that. So if you want that free content and you want to uh, get a subscription to the magazine, click the link below. I highly recommend it. So let's get into the video.
right guys, a real quick tip. Instead of using sandpaper in the middle of a carving project, I'll use a riffler. And this is basically a file, but with more aggressive cutting teeth. This is made by Milani, M-I-L-A-N-I. They're some of the better makers in Italy. And the great part is, unlike sandpaper, the riffler does not leave deposits of little bits of grit that dull the tools as they glide through the material. Okay, so a quick tip on carving realistic hair. Some of the shapes that you should look out for in order to create depth and layering in your hair groupings are Vs and upside down Vs. So here you'll notice if you look really closely, there's kind of a V shape and you can see that I've used a marker to outline it in the past, but I'll re-outline it. There's a V, okay? And you can cut that in with a, with a V tool and that is going to uh, define uh, two groupings coming together in the same way an upside down V indicates a uh, grouping coming apart. So this is uh, how I outline it going in. So this is a grouping separating into two pieces, whereas this one over here is uh, a grouping uh, converging to create one. And these are important shapes to create dimension and depth in your hair. Thank you. 